It's above my pay grade. You have to say, hey, yeah, coach. Yeah, um, right, guys. yeah, we're in a good spot there. Uh, you have the in helmet communication this year. It's yep. obviously something you're very familiar with. For sure. One, what is the advantage of that for you guys? And two, who's going to wear their green dot for you? Uh, we'll play around with it. You know, it's a, it's a great advantage for us. Um, it's a little bit more my comfort zone, as you mentioned. Um, you know, defensively, do I think that when you're getting no huddle spread, it's going to work perfect every time? No, or you still have to signal yes. Uh, but it's a great tool for us, and, and candidly, it's a great tool to talk to the guys on the field. So we'll rotate it. You know, you can have conversations. I am probably guilty of talking too much. You know, at times they'll be like, "Leave me alone. Uh, let me go play ball." Um, but we'll play with it. You know, everybody will have it at some point. So once we have to make that decision, you know, kind of bi-weekly, it won't be the first time that they're hearing me. Coach, Coach going off of that, is there an advantage to the fact that you've been doing it? You you are familiar with that as opposed to. Coach and player will have more than that? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, just because I, I've probably seen the dark side of it a couple times, you know, like where guys want to like take their helmet off and just rip it off because the coordinator's yelling at them the whole time. Um, so I, hopefully I know less is more. Um, but again, everybody's working with it. You know, bi weekly, it'll look different. Um, I have had some phone calls with guys. You know, I think defensively, it's not as advantageous as offense, right? It's just what it is. It's an offensive game. We adapt and we adjust that way. Um, but again, it, it is my comfort zone, so I do feel good with it. You Coach. talked about wanting to come in and not bring in a scheme, but yep. really see what you had. Can you take us through that process? Like, how does it work? Chess piece on a board? You were, how, how long in camp do you need to see these guys before you get a feel? Um, you know, we'll, we've kind of talked about it as a staff. We'll go 10 days of camp, and then we'll kind of look at what they can do well. It's our job as coaches, as we talked about, to put these guys in positions to be successful. Um, I think in any industry, right, uh, the cardinal sin, my biggest pet peeve, is when people say what somebody can't do. You know, let's look at what they can do, right? We're fortunate we only have X amount of scholarship players, X amount of walk-ons. If somebody's dynamic at one thing, well, then here's a novel idea. Let's get them doing that, right? And let's kind of build around that. We've talked about it in the past. There's six or seven guys that are shooters, right? They're our best players, so we'll get them shots and then kind of adapt and adjust around that. How tough is that to balance both, you know, tailoring a defense that's suited for your talent, but keeping things simple for them as well? Well, I think that's life, right? You got to kind of adapt or die, right? In the NFL, you might work out with somebody on Tuesday and go into the game thinking he's going to play five or 10 plays. The next thing you know, he's playing 35. Uh, top five human being in the world, Mike Thomas played for us in Cincinnati, signed with the Dolphins on a Tuesday, played 35 plays in the game versus Tom Brady, picked him off and then won the game. So it's our job as coaches to get these guys ready, whether they're a one, a two, or a three. Um, and then, you know, all things considered, if everybody's healthy, let's put the best 11 on the field. It gives us the best chance to win. We were talking with TJ McKinney and Preston Hodge, and they uh -huh. said this is one of the best secondaries. Yeah. When you're looking at the secondary, what do you see? Yeah, I think we're deep. I think uh, there are guys here that are backups that can be starters other places. Uh, and I think there's great leadership. I think early in camp, that's what you want to see, right, is who are the leaders, right? We talk about being a player-driven team. Show me, right? Go out and lead the team on a bad day, right? Um, you know, we've got phenomenal leadership starting with Cam. Um, DJ and Preston have come in and done a great job. They're about the right stuff. You don't worry about them on lists. Uh, they're just great kids. And, and I think that's what – um, my biggest thing here is we got a bunch of great guys, right? It's not the trail of tears walking into work where I got to deal with this guy or I got to deal with that guy. The players are, are phenomenal. I get it. It's early in camp, right? It's all rainbows and butterflies. We haven't lost a game yet, right? But the players, the staff, it's a phenomenal building to come to work in every day. You've had the opportunity to be with Travis Hunter now for a little while. Is that a guy you think could play in the NFL right now? And if so, for how many teams? I think Travis could do anything he wants to do. Uh, I talked about it. I think Travis is a unicorn. Uh, we had uh, spring out meeting Travis goes up there as a 4.0 student uh, Travis take every play in practice uh, I think Travis can do anything so yeah I don't want to uh, put a bulletin on his back or anything like that but yeah I think Travis can do just about anything he wants to do when we talked to Trevor on Monday he talked about the noticeable size up front that uh -huh. line. how are those guys performing there? they've done great uh, again I think the D-line coaches do a phenomenal job Coach Zapp, Coach Lewis, Coach Nancy, I can't speak enough about those guys. Uh, they are truly a master of their craft, and they get those guys going, right? I, I think, you know, D linemen will walk if you let them, and they've got the right mindset, right? It's light when it needs to be light. We work when we need to work, um, and they've done great. So it's a kudos to the coaches, it's a kudos to the players, um, and now let's just continue to grow, right? Stack days on top of each other, and we'll get to where we want to go. Well, so the State is right around the corner. What yep. is your overall sense of this group and, and their excitement level to put in the work and get game ready? Our team? Yes. Yeah, no, I think we're chomping at the bit. Um, again, it's uh, it's the third day of camp, right? It's rainbows and butterflies. It, it is what it is. Uh, but I know when I look in the eyeballs of the guys that we have, that they kind of still feel last year, right? So again, that that's always it. I mean, last year is done. It is what it is. 
but they want to prove who they can be, right? So I've seen it from the time I got here. I thought the strength staff structured a phenomenal winter conditioning program, right? I thought spring ball was great. You know, summers, uh, players are by themselves. You know, I'm getting calls about how hard they're working, right? I'm getting pictures of them meeting by themselves. I mean, that doesn't happen everywhere. Again, that's a testament to the culture from the top down, right? Starting with the head coach and working all the way down to me, to the players, to everybody else. So um, that's really who this building is. So we're very excited. Yes, sir. From your side of the field, what's it been like going up uh, against this offense? Um, not very fun. You know, I, I think Shadour, uh, Shadour is incredibly dynamic. I think he's a great player. I think the offensive line is blocking well. The receivers have done phenomenally. Uh, moving some tight ends around, they're doing good things. And, and we got good backs. So, um, yeah, it's a challenge. But we talked about it with the team the other day. You know, training camp is designed, you know, to be a challenge. So you get to that first night, first game, it's not the first time you've been punched in the mouth, right? Again, we don't card a lot of stuff, right? It's good on good. Let's go play fast and let's see who we got. So, um, yeah, I think our offense has got a chance to be uh, extremely, extremely dynamic. Last, Travis, last question for Coach. Travis, you're, you're talking about he's a uniform. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, we know he's playing some slot in this ring. Mm -hmm. Outside, he can do a lot of things. What does that do for you as a coach that you know you can put him wherever you need to put him and where you know, kind of switch things up, play to play, things like that? I sleep a little bit better. Um, you know, so there'll be matchups, there'll be other things. Um, it's a testament to two guys that were just here, right, Preston and DJ, because they have the ability to move around. So when you have three corners, you can move around. Uh, again, hopefully as coaches, you look a lot smarter. All right, thanks. Everybody good? Thanks, Thank guys. You, for